is water. Do you know that if I was coaching today and I had your kids on my football team, I would say when those kids come off that field, they have water squirted in their mouth right now. Not a sports drink. You don't need a sports drink. You need water. Those kids need refueling. And so they squirt water because I don't want that kid having a cramp because 78% of his muscles are water and he has cramps because he doesn't have enough water. There's the number one nutrient during the game. After the game, one of the most important things you can do is get that kid, man or woman, boy or girl, to start refueling instantly. Why? Because the tissues in the body have started to break down and been torn apart, and I gotta start healing them now. Otherwise, they won't be able to perform at the next practice or the next game. I would make sure that they would again take the Juice Plus, the capsules, because they need to fuel something quickly and get it into their system, and then if they won't eat, fruit, an apple or an orange or something to get started, then I would give them another drink of the Juice Plus Light again. We want the refueling to start. Now remember, I didn't say that the kids could just take Juice Plus or anything else, and that's all they take. That's ridiculous. But you want to give them something that they'll do. Now, I want to finish with this. How many of you heard of anabolic steroids? Why do they work? 78% of a muscle is made of water. If you take an anabolic steroid, it causes the muscle to retain water. If the muscle's made of water, you get it to retain more water, the muscle gets bigger and you get stronger. They don't tell you a couple of things about that. We know that anabolic steroids can cause liver damage, kidney failure, and brain dysfunction. So kids are switching to something today called HGH. Have you heard of that one? Human growth hormone from the pituitary gland. The kids take it because they want to get bigger and stronger. You know what it does? Same thing the steroid does. Muscle gets bigger and you get stronger. You know what they forgot to tell them? It can cause massive coronary heart disease from age 10 up. 1998, young boy, 15 years old, dies instantly in his English class of a massive coronary. There is no history of coronary heart disease in his family anywhere. So they did an autopsy. His bloodstream is full of HGH. This kid, 15 years old, was taking this stuff because a young girl he asked to go out with him refused to go out with him because he was too skinny. And he wanted to get bigger for her. When I said that, the kids are mumbling. So I ran into the bleachers and I found the first kid I could find that was about my height and weight when I was a senior in high school. And I said, hi, what's your name? Dwayne, okay. I said, Dwayne, how old are you? He said, 17. I said, 17, come on, Dwayne, you got lots of time to find the right girl. You don't have to have her today. And they all giggled. And I said, you don't believe me? Let me tell you a true story about me. Dwayne, when I was a freshman, I was four foot seven, weighed 92 pounds. You think I can get a date? No. Well, four years later, Dwayne, I'm five foot seven. I weighed 125 pounds soaking wet. You think I can get a date? No. <laughs> well, Dwayne, I just got back from my 40 year class reunion. I'm so glad they didn't go out with me. Our best-looking cheerleader can play left and right tackle for the 49ers. <laughs> and so you ladies don't think I'm a chauvinist because I'm not. I love you. You should see what you went out with. They went out with the jocks, right? And now the jocks come walking in the room. Big beer bellies, can't walk. And now all the girls are coming up to me and they're going, hi. And I said, you had your chance 38 years ago, honey. <laughs> now, the latest craze is creatine. Creatine. I want you to do this again for me. The PC that follows the ATP is called phosphocreatine. Anytime you want it, in the cell, it is there. Actually, 95% of it's already held in your cell. It's delivered with protein and synthesized in the liver for delivery to the working cell. The creatine is there so you can recover the ATP faster. So think with me for a second. If I could give you some extra creatine and you can recover faster between bouts of exercise. You see, when the kid that's training for me does his first set of 10, what do I have him do? Walk over and get a drink of... 
to help him recover or her recover and come back and do the second set. As soon as they're done with it, they walk over and get another drink of why? Not because. <laughs> because your muscles are made of water, because we want you to recover the strength as quickly as possible so you can gain maximum performance, etc., etc. Okay. Now, the creatine allows you to recover faster. Well, if you can recover faster, you can do more work over the same amount of time frame, and you can get bigger and stronger faster, and all of the research studies that I have seen so far say exactly that. But what they don't say is what the long-term effects are going to be. I attended the American College of Sports Medicine last June. I'll be there again this year. There were as many people in that room as in this one. We couldn't even get into the room because everybody wanted to know about creatine. And what they said is this. We don't know. We have already had massive muscle cramping. We've had some liver damage in certain people. We've had some kidney failure. We've had extreme hyperhydration of the muscle, which means it's retaining too much water. And your heart's a muscle. And we've had massive dehydration, but not in everybody. But we don't know what's going to happen seven years from now. So I'm your coach. I'm your kid's coach. How do you think you would feel if I said it was OK because of the research we now have for your kid to go ahead and take this stuff? When I knew I could do it naturally if I trained him or her right, and seven years from now, they have cancer of the liver. I'm not willing to take that chance. I will tell the kids, I'll show you how to get bigger. I'll show you how to get stronger. I'll show you how to reach maximum performance. I'll show you how to eat right. And if you don't want to eat right, I have some recommendations for you. You see, kids will train hard. They will train hard if they know why they're doing it. If they knew why they're doing it and which energy system was doing what and how we were going to train it, then they would give me everything they've got every time. So if I could leave you with one thing, I want to leave you with something that my dad told me before his death. He said, Jack, and I wrote it down, winning is nice, but it's not necessary, and certainly it's not important enough to cheat for. God bless you. Thanks for having me. Run faster, jump higher, play longer and stronger. We all like to see our children perform their very best. And Jack Medina offers some interesting new perspectives on how we can train our young athletes to do just that. If you'd like to learn more about Jack Medina or Juice Plus or the possibility of having Coach Medina address your school, church, or other organization, ask the person who shared this with you for more information. This material may not be copied in whole or in part without the written permission of the copyright owner. Copyright 1999, NSA, Incorporated.